Bush boys, Kim Shriver and Chris Everett, versus Marvin Bush and Neil Bush. My father just had a real heart for love. He leaned into everything he did with love. He's a classic Lao Peng Yo. Always look for lifting others in different ways, including close friendships. Neil Bush is the third son of George H.W. Bush, who is known as Bush Sr. by many Chinese. Forty-five years ago, when China and the U.S. had not established official diplomatic relations, Bush Sr. served as the director of the U.S. Liaison Office in China. Ever since then, the Bush family has had unique feelings toward China. This is a scrapbook made in 1975. It was at the end of the Cultural Revolution. We went to the Great Wall. We went to Forbidden City. Riding his bike through Beijing, representing our country in that way. My father became known affectionately as the bicycling ambassador. Before my dad became the chief liaison officer, he was the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. I was actually in the hall of the UN General Assembly when the General Assembly kicked Taiwan out and admitted People's Republic of China for representation. And the first thing he did was invite the Chinese delegation that was sent to New York once they were admitted to represent China to my father's old family home in Greenwich, Connecticut, where his mom, my grandmother, cooked a homemade meal for the new Chinese delegates. So he welcomed them warmly. I'm a great believer in personal diplomacy and knowing the people and not just accepting what's in the textbooks about it. As president, the very first trip he made was to Beijing. I think he had a real hand and a real impact. And so I'm very proud of Dad's role in helping usher in closer ties with China is epic and historic and important. So this monument was built during his lifetimes. Looking over the city that he loves, this is Houston, Texas. So this is my brother George being sworn in. This is the 43rd president, the 41st president of the United States. I, George Walker Bush. Neil Bush's me. older brother, George W. Bush, was elected as the 43rd U.S. president in 2000. Chinese people gave him the name Bush Jr. During his presidency, Bush Jr. visited China four times, more than any other U.S. president. My brother George served as president. He did it with honor. He, he was very clear-minded. He was respectful of the office of the presidency. He came to Olympics in Beijing and showed the U.S. support of the Chinese. I think he helped to move the ball forward in terms of deepening the roots of the relationship. There were more collaborations established under his presidency. And he got those human values and those leadership values directly from my father and my father's father. It's part of the culture of our family. I would go to China frequently. When I came home, Dad would always ask me, How's, how are things in China? Who'd you meet with? Did you see my friends? For five years, when my mom or dad went into the hospital or when they came home, I read 14 different history books to them because they loved history. And so being a son so close was a blessing, was a real blessing. To his very last days, Dad's life was instructive. George H.W. Bush passed away at his house in Houston on Friday, November 30th, at the age of 94. The best father a son or daughter could have. Today, Neil Bush dedicates himself in working for the Bush-China-U.S. Relations Foundation, founded by his father and himself continuing his father's Chinese feelings in his ways. So that we can promote his enduring legacy, his using his presidential platform to promote balanced understanding and closer ties between China and the United States. I get the joy of knowing that a great man's legacy will be enduring and long living past his death. I'm a big believer in my father's core belief that the U.S.-China relationship is the most important bilateral relationship in the world. And I believe every problem we face can be dealt with in a mature way. The more I get criticized for my position on U.S.-China relations, the more strength I get from that, the more emboldened I get, the more I'm going to speak up, um, the more active I'm going to be through the Bush-China Foundation.